Gregory Polanco is no longer a Pittsburgh Pirate. That was inevitable. It was going to happen at some point. Many thought it should have happened earlier than today. The Pirates apparently want to give him a chance to you know, latch onto a team. What will you remember about the Polanco era, Josh Yoey? And do you think it was a mistake looking back? Because at the time of that signing, I didn't have any problem with it. I understood why they did it. I don't think it's that much money, to be honest. And why not do it? But he didn't plan out, much like Jose Tabata. What's your take on his career in Pittsburgh? You know, Klopp, I was in the ballpark the, the night of his first game with the Pirates. I think it was 2014. Remember the hype that he received? And at first, it looked like he was going to live up to it. He was pretty darn good his first couple of years. And you could see the talent, the arm, the speed, the power. It was all there. And he's such of a nice kid. He's very easy to root for. But what happened in the last three or four years was just an embarrassing. Uh, everything about it was an embarrassment, really. The lack of production, the, the mental errors, the injuries, you, you name it. Um, he completely fell apart. He's one of those guys, and I hate to keep bashing the Pirates, but you do wonder if he were signed originally by a really good organization, would things have been different with him? Because when you see him play, uh, the potential and the talent, it was there, and man, it was never recognized. And it was stunning to me that he was given as much playing time this season as he was. I, I just don't get it. Yeah, the story of Gregory Polanco will be the story of unfulfilled promise. And I think you make a great point, Josh, about when he first stepped into the league, it, was, it, it felt like it would be fulfilled, right? Because he was a complimentary piece on a team with much better players around him. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon at the height of his powers. Guy, you know, Neil Walker. It, it, he was part of a team, and he wasn't being counted on to be the team. He was never going to live up to those sort of expectations after McCutcheon and Marte and Walker and everyone else had left town. It, it just, it wasn't the right role for him. He could still be, I think, a decent complimentary player, uh, you know, a decent 24th, 25th guy on a, on a really talented roster, but it, it, especially in the American League, but it, it just wasn't going to happen here anymore. It's, it's done. It's time to cut, cut ties. Bob, I look back at 2014 and 2015 and, and ask, you know, what could have been in terms of doing more to give yourself the best chance to win a World Series? And a perfect example is this, and I don't know if you remember this, there was all kind of rumors that the Marlins would have traded Giancarlo Stanton to the Pirates for Gregory Polanco. That the, the mm -hmm. before he ended up in New York and Derek Jeter bought the team, that they were shopping him and Polanco's the guy they wanted, but the Pirates said no. And I got into a huge fight. Ron Cook called me an idiot on the air because I said, <laughs> you've got to make a deal like this. You don't know what Polanco's going to be. He might never be a great player. You might never have this window of opportunity to win a World Series again and the Pirates were looking at the long game. You know, Neil Huntington had it in his mind, we're going to be competitive long term for a long time. And then the ultimate irony of that, Bob, is the one time he made a trade to go for it, he was trailing in the wild card by four games and basically sold his entire farm system for Chris Archer. So yeah. sorry to bring that up. I know it's a sensitive subject, but still, no, it's I, true. I, listen, they Stand could have true. had Christian Yelich. Uh, you know, they were having a fire sale of players down there. They could have done a lot more. That package they gave up for Archer, they could have given that probably less of it to get a Yelich at the time. we got to take a break here. Time is moving right along. We have more baseball talk when we come back. How about a Major League Baseball floor? Would that make the Pirates more competitive? We'll talk about it next right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown.